Hey, this is Bernie Borges, and welcome to episode 25 of Poolside Sales Chat. And today I'm going to talk about how to write a great LinkedIn headline. Now, I want you to know that this is inspired by David Fisher's book, Social Networking in the 21st Century. If you have been to my Poolside Sales Chat before, you know that I've covered a few things from David's book before. By the way, he, he goes by DFish for those of us that, can, that call him as our friend, right? But I've been inspired by what's, Dave, what's in David's book for a couple of reasons. First of all, he aligns 100% with the things that I talk about, not only in general on Social Business Engine, but in my online courses on social selling. So he and I recently teamed up and did a webcast. And on this webcast, it's about 45 minutes long, we do a, a kind of a fast paced review of best practices on LinkedIn and Twitter and social selling. And what I wanna to cover today on this Poolside Sales Chat is one of them, and it's actually from a chapter in his book, and the, the, the title of the chapter is Starting Your Profile with the Perfect Headline. So the first thing I wanna talk about is like, what is, what is a headline? What do you mean by a headline on your, in your LinkedIn profile. Well, it's right below your name. That field, that sentence, the words right below your name on your LinkedIn profile, that is your headline. A lot of people take that for granted. A lot of people just put their title in there. I'm not saying that's wrong. However, you have to also Understand that people use LinkedIn in some cases, especially B2B buyers that are conducting research. They use LinkedIn as a search engine. There's that search bar that's at the top of LinkedIn and people will go into that search bar and they'll type in keywords. So what you wanna think about is writing a headline that is compelling, attention grabbing, and is consistent with how you help your customer. Now, there's a point that he makes in here that's really, really interesting that talks about how uh, studies show that people spend more time reading the headline on your profile than anything else. Now, frankly, that's a little shocking to me, only in that if you don't have a killer headline that speaks to what you do and who you do it for, then you could be losing out. So I wanna give you a couple of examples that are both from David's book and also just a few of, of my own examples that really speak to writing a headline on LinkedIn that can be compelling and attention grabbing. I also wanna point out that your headline is one of three major elements on your LinkedIn profile. I cover all three of them in my online social selling course. You can get more information on that at socialbusinessengine.com. So on the headline, I wanna give you a few examples that are right out of David's book, Social Networking in the 21st Century. So here's a few examples. Helping Fortune 500 companies solve complex personnel issues. Helping medical professionals manage and grow wealth. Helping our sales team deliver amazing customer experiences. Now, do you see the common theme in these headlines? There's no job title and they start out with a verb. So I really like the, the concept, the strategy of starting your headline with a verb. So in my case, for example, my headline is transforming B2B companies through social training, social media, and a few other things. I'm a podcaster, that kind of thing. But I start out with transforming B2B companies. So I start out with the verb and I identify exactly who I do it for. And then I give a little more detail on how I do that. So I saw one um, just the other day from a friend of mine who says leading the way in and then explaining what she does and who she does it for. But she starts out with leading the way. So think about how you can write the title, the headline that goes into your profile right below your name. And if you think about how it's one of the three most compelling elements of your, your LinkedIn profile and that potentially people can spend more time on your headline than any other aspect of your LinkedIn profile. Well, that means that potentially they may not get past your headline if you have not delivered a compelling headline that really speaks to that person who's visiting your profile so that they can get to know you better. So I want you to think about that in terms of your strategy on LinkedIn, how you are trying to attract your network and potential customers and clients through LinkedIn, 
that headline is the first of the three most important elements to your profile. So the homework assignment that I want to give you is actually two of them. I'm going to give you two homework assignments from today's Poolside Sales Chat. One is I want you to go check out this webcast that I did with David Fisher. We pulled pieces from his book and pieces from my online social selling classes and we pulled them together because he and I align 100% and we did a 45 minute webcast and we did it fast. So there's a lot of material that's covered there and obviously you can go re watch that webcast as often as you want to just catch everything. So that's homework assignment number one for you is to go watch that webcast. Again, right there at the homepage at socialbusinessengine.com. The second one is I want you to go look at your headline on your LinkedIn profile and ask yourself, do you have a title in there like account manager, director, VP? And think about how many thousands, maybe even millions of people have that same title in their headline. How can you stand out? What can you do to your headline to be different, to be compelling, to really speak to that potential buyer that comes to your profile so that you can explain what you do and who you do it for and then give them the incentive and the motivation to actually go through the rest of your prof profile and then engage with you and ultimately connect and network with you. All right, well, this is going to do it for episode 25. This is Bernie Borges, executive producer of Social Business Engine. I am signing off for today, and until next time, even though it's a little shady here today, I wish you continued sunshine. See ya.